So let's talk about interpretations and conclusions when doing hypothesis testing. If this were the information gathered from the first five steps of hypothesis testing, we would say we have a critical value from our table giving us our rejection region, labeled as alpha, the percentage in the tail, and then we have a calculated value from a calculation, which dashes in here within the rejection region, giving us the decision to reject the null. The question you ask, is there enough information to say HA is true in the population? Yes, we have enough information. Or another example, the critical value from the table, giving us the rejection region known as alpha, the percentage in the tail, and our calculated value not in the rejection region, so we do not reject. We fail to reject. Is there enough information to say that HA is true in the population? No, there is not. So here again, we are failing to reject because the calculated value is not in the rejection region. No, there is not enough information to say this is happening in the population. Or in another example, where we reject the null because the calculated value is in the rejection region, this means that yes, HA, the alternative hypothesis, is true for the population. So if the researchers opt to reject the null, the calculated value falls in the rejection region and there is enough information to show the alternative is true in the population. But if the researchers fail to reject the null, the calculated value is not in the rejection region and there is not enough information to show HA is true in the population.